Yo, what's up? It's Rob the Horror Punk here right now and welcome to all things horror. We're gonna do another horror pack unboxing this time from June. Let's do it! So welcome to my channel again. If you've been here before, sweet. If not, hey, welcome. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, so keep that in mind. We got June's Horror Pack right here, folks. If you don't know what Horror Pack is, it's a monthly subscription for horror movies. They uh, do a DVD plan and a Blu-ray plan. It's totally worth it. It's a good price. Just go to HorrorPack.com. You can get all the details. Plus, Horror Pack has some of the best customer services out there. Diego and Chris are awesome. Awesome dudes. Awesome company. So let's dig in to June's Horror Pack. What's up first? Let's open this box here. Nope, wrong side. Let's go over here. What do we have? <clears throat> These bags are hard to open sometimes. Either that or I'm just a weak, weak person. First up, hey, we got the Belko Experiment. This movie is fun as heck, man. I work in an office, so I relate to this. It's just a good time. So we got the front, we got the back, got the side stuff, and, um, Man, just a fun movie. It says Office Space meets Battle Royale, which, yeah, that's about right. It's just a good time. It's bloody. It's fun. It's quick-paced. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. I actually already own this one, so that's a, a dupe for me. That's one thing about Horror Pack. Sometimes, obviously, if you collect movies, like, did you guys know I collect movies? I didn't know if you knew that or not. Sometimes you'll get duplicates, which is okay. So, if you get dupes, you can sell them, you can gift them out, whatever. It's totally worth it, nonetheless. What's next? Let's go fishing for the movies right here. Number two, we got Insidious. Now, I will be honest, I'm not a big fan of this kind of movie. I'm not a big paranormal, supernatural kind of movie. They tend to bore the hell out of me. I did see this a long time ago, and I remember not being a big fan. It's a well-made movie, don't get me wrong. Just not really my cup of tea. And honestly, I don't even know if I, uh, if I even have this. G-H-I, I can't do the alphabet. Um, I do not have this one, so that's a win. I only have Insidious Last Key for some reason. Probably bought it for cheap on a Black Friday at the Wally World. Anyway, so Insidious, cool. So, um, not really my cup of tea, but I'll add it to the collection and maybe, uh, give it a watch sometime. If not, I can always get rid of it. That's okay. What's third in the Horror Pack stack? We got... Okay, now this is one thing about Horror Pack that's awesome. Every uh, month uh, in the Blu-ray pack, for sure, they do like a limited edition uh, exclusive to Horror Pack. Something that's never been on Blu-ray before, or something that's a, a new release or something, um, which is pretty cool. And this one, I've never heard of this one, which is awesome. This one's called Cruel Will. And this is the limited edition for June. Cruel Will. Will. I don't know. I don't know much about this. I don't know anything about this. So that'll be interesting. 2013. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. And last, but not least, in June's Horror Pack, we got... Whoa, we got a double whammy here. Priest and Legion double feature. Priest. I, I, I could have sworn that we got that in a different pack. Maybe that was something else. I don't know, but Legion, that is a cool ass movie. I like that movie quite a bit. Priest, I have not seen. Uh, not sure how much of an interest I have in that, but that's cool. Sometimes they'll do double features, so technically you're getting five movies for the price of four. Uh, oh shit, dang, I'm getting old. All right, so June Horror Pack, you get a double whammy with Priest and Legion. You get Belko Experiment, which is a fun movie, takes place in an office. I like Mayhem by Joe Lynch, similar to that. You get Insidious. Not really my cup of tea, but hey, a lot probably dig this stuff. And then you get the limited edition of Cruel Will, which I've never heard of. But, you know, decent pack overall. So check it out at horrorpack.com. Them guys are cool. Follow them on Instagram and whatnot. And then while I'm on here as well, I also have a few new pickups that I just thought I'd share real quick. Reality Kills, which is also called Reality Check. It's 2002. I don't know much about it. It was cheap. I figured, why the hell not? And then I also got Camp Dread. Right there, 2014, with Daniel Harris and Eric Roberts. I think I saw this, and I think I enjoyed it. Again, it was cheap. I figured, why not? Uh, another Daniel Harris movie I recently picked up, uh, Camp Coldbrook. 
is fairly cheap at the Best Buy. I had to swing in there for something. And then the reason I went to Best Buy, which a lot of you probably know, is the Friday the 13th 40th edition still book. I couldn't pass it up, man. 15 bucks, you know, I'm a horror fan, I'm a collector. I felt like I had to have this, so. And that right there is badass. I've rambled on long enough. That is June's horror pack, and that is some recent pickups that I got. Thanks for watching. If um, you dig what I'm doing, my my dumb old self, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Give me a follow, whatever, on Instagram. I don't care if you do or not. Tell your friends if you don't, whatever. It's just doing this for fun. And, uh, <laughs> I broke, and I want to shout out Neon Brainiacs, the 80s horror podcast. Them guys are awesome, the Greg and Ben. Stupid Movies, Adam and I just joined them as a guest and talked Evil Dead too. So be sure to check that out on Wednesday, July 8th. That will be up, so give it a listen. We'll see you on the flip side, folks. Rock and roll!